Good morning, everyone. Okay, to be honest, I'm a little nervous this morning because we're on the clock for something. Tomorrow, we've been invited to a fancy schmancy black tie event in Chelsea for the London Sports Industry Awards to help celebrate Sam's team, the London Lions. They've been invited um, and nominated for best social media, which is incredible. They absolutely kill it. They're so good. And so we've been invited like 10 days ago. It's kind of last minute. We must have been a last minute invite. And so, you know, I can get a dress in an hour. I could walk out that door and find a black tie gown in an hour. Sam has a unique build being six foot nine and you know, all of his stuff is custom. You can't rent a tux that would fit in a couple days notice anyway. So we had my mom go to our house, go through our closet, find not only the tux, but how about everything that comes with the tux, like studs and um, suspenders and the right tuck shoes and tuck shirt, obviously. And do you want a cummerbund? Do you need your bow tie? Cufflinks, like there's all this stuff that comes with a tux. And for me, I was like, that dress, I have shoes, I have a bag, send it. So anyways, it's on its way. Right now, it's somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean. Somewhere out there, we don't know. And it's tomorrow. And I keep tracking it. And it just sucks because we may not be able to go. You know, it's, it's a strict black tie event. Sam doesn't even have a black suit here if we wanted to try it. So we may not be able to go because this package won't get here in time. And I'm really upset because we have a sitter. We have a hotel room to get ready in before, you know, have some drinks, enjoy the night. Um, also with me trying to meet more people in sports in London, like I'm really excited to go. So I'm just so upset. So all day I'm going to worry myself into a worm because I'm going to be thinking about this. And it just sucks to have like everything on hold. It might come today. It might come tomorrow. And if it comes, I feel like I need to take it to the dry cleaner to get pressed because surely my dress and his suit will be all wrinkled up. Just a lot. And I want to make like a hair appointment. I should go ahead and make that anyway. So stay tuned. In other news, I had two products. These products I really wanted to show you. I've been using for like a week and they are quickly rising to my list of all stars. So amazing. This one first, you guys. It's a Korean skincare brand. I put it on my reels on Instagram. So go look, I talk more about this. Um, I got it in a mini just to like try it out. And then I went back and I couldn't get the big size fast enough. This is incredible, incredible. It even says on the packaging, half skincare, half makeup. It's a BB cream with really good coverage. It's all I'm wearing right now. And y'all know from when I've posted before, I have like a decent amount of sunspots. I have some acne scarring here. This is all I'm wearing and it's really good coverage and it feels like skincare, not like makeup, if that makes sense. Um, it also says on here, it gives you that instant baby skin effect. What do you think? Do I look like a baby? I'm so in love. This is incredible. I wear the color Claire or the next shade up is nude and I got the little one in nude. And honestly, as I'm starting to get a bit tanner, as we get closer to summer, both are good. SPF 20, wish it was a bit higher, TBH. So that's amazing by Airborean, Korean skincare. Gotta go with Korean skincare. I also just ordered that Snail Mucinex, whatever it's called by CosRx is the Korean skincare company. And the Snail, you guys know what I'm talking about, the Mucin, um, everyone's obsessed with, that's supposed to be, supposed to be really good with um, diminishing dark pigmentation, which is definitely a concern of mine. Okay, then this is amazing. I got this because Sophia Ritchie on her Instagram said that she's been using it lately and loves it. It's by Summer Fridays. It's my first product I'm trying by Summer Fridays and I'm really, really impressed. I got the shade Vanilla, so it's just clear. Look how like juicy, juicy. And it's really nice um, before bed. It's like, it's like a mask. Um, and look at the applicator. I love how like big and substantial that is, you know? And just how big this whole thing is. This isn't like a little saying a little thing. I love it. Um, I think I might try more of the shades because I probably could use a little color. Sometimes I just look like a toe. I'm like all one color, but love the way it tastes. Love the way it feels. I feel like it lasts a long time, but try it and then try it before bed. You'll wake up with like juicy hydrated lips. Um, so anyways, that's all I got. Stay tuned. I'll be just tracking UPS package all over the UK today. Hope you guys have a great day.
Okay, update. It's the day of the event. I've given myself a pimple. I've been so stressed. So the update is our parcel that my mom sent with Sam's tux and my gown, Sam's shoes, Sam everything for a hard to fit man is somewhere in Stansted. It's an hour outside of London-ish and it's stuck there. Um, so we're waiting on pins and needles. So last night we're coming up with every option. We're like, okay, Sam could wear his blue suit. I won't be standing next to a man in a blue suit at a black tie event. Let's just say that. <laughs> so we're like, oh, that's a horrible option, but still allows us to go. We also thought maybe I go alone, which I don't want to do. It's, you know, it's to celebrate his team, but I technically I was the one who got invited. So that was an option. We thought, let's just scour every suit store, tux rental, and see if by chance they have your size. So we actually ended up doing that. Last night, they closed at 8. He went at like 7.45 and with an, a couple other guys who were going to the event. And they just said, what do you have? And he got, they said, it doesn't even have to fit that well. It just has to fit. And he got a tux amazingly, but they didn't have shoes. And he's a US 14, so that's going to be really hard. We're going to think about that one today. And a tuck shirt. So those two things are missing. Meanwhile, you know, I don't have a gown, but I thought I can find one. And I look at Selfridges and Harrods and I'm looking at the prices. I mean, I'm, I'm now having to spend, I think about a thousand pounds on a dress. And I'm, I don't even like a lot of them as I'm looking through them. They all kind of look like Mother of the Bride-ish, like matronly. And I want something sexy and fun. So then I go to ASOS. And I know that they do next day delivery. So here we are. I ordered 10 dresses, I mean, eight dresses. First of all, they're all about under a hundred pounds. The most expensive one, 135. Um, obviously I'll probably return what I don't end up wearing. However, I might as well keep what fits because they're all great prices and we have a ton of weddings and everything coming up. So I might've just, taken care of all my formal events for the next year. In this one ASOS order, I had 17 minutes to place it to ensure next day delivery today. So fingers crossed, it's not here yet, but I feel really good about it. It says before noon today, it's currently 9.16 a.m. So it's been a drama. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys along for the ride though. Hope this pimple goes away, it won't. Um, also, as it pertains to makeup, I will show my like getting ready tonight because I love doing formal makeup. On my Instagram, you'll see I recently did like a spring makeup and link all the products. And um, I should do one just dedicated to YouTube, but go check out my reel on my Instagram. I've also been whitening my teeth this week and that worked super fast with the Moon Whitening Pencil, the Kendall Jenner one. I love that stuff and I have crazy sensitive gums and it does not hurt them. Like So tanned again last night, you can see, look how tan my hand is, um, last night and tan, tan, tan. I can't really show you guys the tanning process because I'm naked during it, but um, I will show you what I use because it's fantastic and like foolproof, easy. You put it on with a mitt. Let me go get it. Okay, this is it. Isle of Paradise, I use the color dark. And I'm pretty fair, you all have seen me, and this is amazing. It gives a nice like lavender tone. So this is not orangey, I don't think. Maybe someone else will see me and say the opposite. But it's just a foam, so easy. Um, do it on dry skin, no lotion, right out of the shower, right after you shave, and thank me later. Oh man, it's Drake. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty. We are waiting patiently, not so patiently, for these dresses. Aso said before noon, it's 11.51. You see yourself? Kiss mama. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Cross your fingers and toes, Wolfie. Okay, good news, bad news. I met someone in the lobby of our building who wears Sam's shoe size, which is a US 14, a UK 13. So you can imagine that's hard to find. He said Sam could borrow his tuck shoes. So check that off the list. Very lucky. I just went to the post office, stood in line, hoping that 
maybe the parcel hadn't been scanned and it was somewhere in there. No luck so far. It is um, almost 12.30. Have to be ready by five and I still don't have a thing to wear. Waiting for two separate packages. Um, this will be interesting. The hunt continues. LOL, I'm at Zara, y'all. I'm at Zara. <laughs> and I, I'm gonna try yeah, this. It's actually wow. really pretty, but not where I wanna get a black tie outfit. Come on. Update. I have the outfit from Zara that is going to be like my last choice. Still hoping my package from ASOS arrives. Still hoping my package from America arrives. My friend was at Selfridges and noticed that they had dresses to rent. So she tried it on, but she's much taller than me and it was short, but we're hoping it's floor length on me. So she's bringing that. This has been the hardest I've had to work and the most creative I've had to get for an event. I have different shoes for different outfits, different bags for different outfits. There's a pair of earrings at Kate Spade that are non-returnable that if I wear this pink dress, I wanna go back and get. Um, I had to get certain bras and whatnot for different things. It's been, it's been a, an ordeal. I've been doing this all day. I'm sweating like a pig. My tan's probably coming off. This is, this is wild. Stay tuned. It's not done yet. Can you believe it? We found a dress. I am so, so grateful. I've been running around all day. I'm going to do these Zara shoes. I rented this dress from Selfridges for 70 pounds. Not bad. I have it for four days. I only need it for tonight. I wish it was a touch longer, but what can you do? Other than that, it like fits like a glove. So I'm feeling very, very grateful. It looks a little sloppy. I think it would have been much better to have gotten it done. But here we are. It's even raining outside, so it might all go to hell anyways. But I love the dress. The shoes from Zara turned out really nice. It's a little short, so I'm glad that the shoe is nice and pretty. I love it. I mean, this color is even better in person, I feel like, than it looks here. It's like luminescent. It like radiates. It is so beautiful. This is, this got so lucky. I'm so lucky. Love these earrings. I've had them for a while. I switched to my old watch because it's a bit more of like a nighttime look. Love it. I'm ready to go. Wanted to show the final makeup look. I did really dark smoky eye. I did like a more severe contour. Um, and just really a glowy cheekbone. And then look how well I covered that pimple. Only you guys will know. So I feel really good about it. Anytime I like hairspray my hair back like this, I feel like it always looks really dark versus when I wear it just down or curled or something, but I kind of like it. It's kind of a different look. So that's the makeup look. I'll make sure I link everything I used. I wanted a really light, big, glossy lip too, um, to kind of go with that big like Barbie look. That's clearly what I'm going for. So, um, Ferris Nude by L'Oreal is my lipstick. My lip liner is MAC by, uh, the color is Whirl. Yeah, come in here. Let's see you. I'm not, I don't, I'm not to the nines yet. Well, let's get you to the nines. Well, the car's pulling up. The car's Sweet pulling heart. up. Okay. Handsome. Look, I got my jacket. Okay, let's it's see. off the rack. Off the rack. <laughs> Surprised you got something that worked. I, yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Not bad, Mr. Decker. Okay. And I'm using a nice gentleman's 
shoes in my yeah. building. Uh, Good Samaritan on the 53rd floor. <laughs> that is... That's his name. That is his name. Yes, yes. Good. That looks great. We'll, we'll make it work. We're off. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're having a great, a great time. Yeah, let me uh, see your suit. This is Tom Ford. <laughs> no, it's not. I think it's like Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> In fact, I think it belongs to Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> Please make your way through to your tables as this evening's proceedings are about to begin. On table 15, Inside X are also a, a, a partner of the Sport Inc. Awards. There's Kenny Logan, later the news Okay, last night was so much fun. Cannot believe it all worked out. The dress was great. I have to return it to Selfridges. Um, Sam and I both were in rented outfits and we were just laughing at it. Didn't fit perfect. Didn't feel like it was our clothes. <laughs> but I'm returning his text today too. I cannot believe we both got clothes like in less than five hours. Pretty, pretty incredible. Great night. Um, I just got an email that my ASOS package was delivered. So um, I'm gonna go get that. I don't need these eight formal dresses, but might you know go ahead and do a try on session. If they fit, they were all great prices and I might as well keep them for future weddings and events, right? So that's what we're doing today. Also gonna go return that Zara outfit. One of the bags from Dune, return Sam's suit, return my dress. So today's big errand day. <laughs> and hang out with you. Wolfie's gonna help me try all these on because look, they finally arrived. All eight dresses I ordered from ASOS that would have been great to have the other night, but I'm still super excited to try them on. If any fit, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because all of the prices were amazing. All, you know, some were like 30 pounds. Most were under 100. Um, always good to have a formal dress on hand. I do not want to be in a pinch like I was the other night. So let's do a little try on sesh. Okay, so this one is super elegant. It's simple. It's really thin. Obviously needs to be steamed. It's super long, but this slit is really high. This is a liability. So wear with caution, I would say, but this would have been so pretty the other night. Look how pretty that photographs. Is it like mermaids out? This is gorgeous. Okay, wow, I love this one. This is so, it's like heavy, hangs on your body heavy. It feels high quality. This is like a little remove only if you're keeping it. I'm so keeping this. I think this would be a really pretty guest of wedding dress. I had a hard time hooking it right here, but fits like a glove. It's a nice length. It splits at the bottom, so it's comfortable to walk in. You know, it's not keeping your feet together like this. It's just amazing. I feel really elegant and really formal in this. Great black tie dress option. Well, this is a problem because now, like, everything's working. I'm in love with this. It's a nice three-quarter length. So, technically, I don't think this would fly for black tie, although I do think rules for black tie weddings is getting more lax. I always think you should be as formal as the invitation suggests, my personal opinion. Um, so I don't think I'd wear this to a black tie wedding, but certainly um, a less formal wedding, maybe earlier in the day, although this is very like nighttime festive and fun. So maybe a gala or some kind of event, not a wedding. This is super heavy, which again, just feels quality. It feels nice. The back is really pretty too. So it's quite open. This fits like a glove. This is a nice fit. I'm really in love with this. 
Oh my God, don't you just wanna dance in this? This is so great. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite so far. This is a detachable jacket, if I can get this. Oh man, wow. This is stellar. Look at the quality, look up close. Also speaking, this is super heavy as well. Um, wow, is this fun for like some kind of just big event. Not All right, we're back in wedding territory. And this is very different. It feels very 1920s, feels kind of old Hollywood. It's lovely, it's super light. So I think it actually would be really comfortable for a more formal summer wedding. Um, the colors are really fun, great for the spring too as well. This would be a great option for a church wedding, a wedding you want to be very appropriate at. Um, oh, I really like it. This like neon chartreuse yellow is so lovely on this icy blue. Really cool color combination. Um, it just feels really easy to wear, super light. You don't have to worry about a bra situation because the back's totally covered. This is, this is really elegant, really classy and timeless. Really like it. This is gorgeous. Okay, I think this is the first one I actually don't like. I wanted to like it. The material feels a bit cheaper than I was expecting. I thought it'd be a bit more of a jersey. Um, actually, I like the next one I'm going to try on, this black one. The back is really beautiful, and then this is like the most stunning color. I love any shade of blue, but this, it's a little short on me too. I really like a longer floor length gown if you're gonna be floor length. I think in theory, this dress is great, but I actually don't like the way it turned out. It feels cheap. This doesn't fit me at all. That's why I'm holding it up. It definitely needs to be altered, but I think it's worth it because the idea of it, I think is so great. I love this long train. It feels very formal, would look great with Sam in a tux next to me. Um, this material is like spongy. Um, like feels like almost like a like mattress topper and it's amazing so i think i'm gonna keep it and just get this sewn up the back is really pretty for that train very elegant but still like fun and young i love this pleat really pretty i like how this is pointed it's different kind of unexpected i wish this was a bit longer <laughs> but i can make this work definitely can make this work Okay, this one I don't like. I think I'm returning. It feels cheap. The skirt also doesn't really fit right. It's like too, I don't know, you know, just put it on and I was like, nope. Yeah, like kind of pillows here. This just isn't right. I'll tell you, it looked really good online. <laughs> it looked really good on the model. Um, it's also a bit short, but still overall, I would have taken it the other day. I was that desperate. So <laughs> not the end of the world, but yeah, not great.